What you gonna do? Where are you from? No flag. Got it. Ah, okay. Really love when you accept a challenge and you're not there. Aha, finally we move. We really need to think on that first move. All right, how about a car con? And this. Nope, this. Uh-huh. I never can remember this line, I believe. Go here. Want to stay flexible. Normally they play some Queen G4 line or something. Feel like I've already messed this up. Gotta worry about this stuff. So I feel like I need to do this first. H4 looks pretty natural, but I'm probably gonna play something like F5. Okay, now A5, because I actually want the C5 squared that way. And I definitely feel like I've misplaced something. Maybe the bishop is supposed to be on E7, but how can I develop the other way? Maybe Knight H6, Knight F5. Missing something. Okay, this looks fine. Getting a wee bit of pressure. We take those. Looking to grab the bishop pair. As advertised. And you don't want to have to make a move like that, but we've done the damage. How to best move it up the board. Okay, let's go here first. We need to move the chain. This was my main idea. This is so natural for them to play a move like rook c1 to get off this pin. Uh huh. My idea was to go for this. Because I'm distracting that guy, which gets, gets us on a number of strong squares and it's the rook which one is better to take Assume it's going to be the one with check. I like that move. This taking doesn't seem advisable, which he rushed right in. And I believe here comes the pain. Do -do -do -do. Looks hard to breathe. I imagine the spite check is coming. Looks good. All right. So we'll see how I messed up this opening because that did not feel right. Uh-huh. You're supposed to take Bishop b6 is okay. And see, queen g4, I was, I was on the right track here. 97. 
and I've had stuff like this in my notes. Bishop d4, key idea. Okay. So maybe I'm misremembering that I remembered. But in here, something just feels off. a5 now. I knew a5 came at some point, but it was important to go ahead and get this done. Which we may get the same thing. Yeah, looks like a transposition. Knight a6 instead of knight c6. Okay. Yeah, <clears throat> this looks fine. Knight c6, got to go b5, and white's got a space edge. I've got the bad bishop on c8, so it's very much like a French, which I'm used to, but after rook e1. Now, legitimately, it is a matter of technique. And I'd seen this idea with bishop a5 and knight f4, and... Knight takes g2. Wow, that's a straightforward one. No. So yeah, much much better. It's queen g3 here, and then keep tension with queen f5. But after this, sometimes you go fishing, you get the knee jerk reaction. Queen takes d4 is supposedly much stronger. Makes sense, but my opponent was being so accommodating before, why not say do this kind of stuff? Then we lead to a beautiful checkmating idea here. And the other way, of course, is with queen takes. And you're not going to last very long here either. <laughs> King f7. You don't get to do that very often. And all he can do, oh, and the staircase checkmate anyway. So fun way to end that one with queen f6, where we have a advanced variation of the Carl Kahn.